this question we've got a function and the function is defined as 2 add the natural logarithm of 3x subtract 2. Now do notice the domain it can be any number apart from x has to be bigger than 2 thirds so we can't have x as anything less than 2 thirds that might be important to remember. So find the exact value of f of f of 1. So this is quite nice and straightforward so firstly just work out f of 1. I'm going to put 1 into this function so it's going to be uh, 2 add the natural logarithm of 3 multiplied by 1 which is 3 take away 2. So this is 2 add the natural logarithm of 1. The natural logarithm of 1 is 0 so this is clearly just 2. So f of 1 is 2 and f of f of 1 therefore would be just f evaluated at 2. So we're going to put 2 into this so it's going to be 2 add the natural logarithm 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. 6 take away 2 is 4 like that. So therefore, f of f of 1 is simply to add the natural logarithm of 4. Okay, part B. You work down the page, but I'm going to work just across for the purposes of the video. Find an expression for the inverse function. Now, there's a set routine way of doing this that helps you uh, do these questions. Make y equal to the function you're dealing with. So y is equal to 2 add the natural logarithm of 3x subtract 2. Now this is just a method that works, you'd have to look at the uh, videos to understand why this works, but what you do is you swap the roles of x and y, so we're going to swap x and y, so we're going to have x is equal to 2 add the natural logarithm of 3y take away 2. Now if you make y the subject of this formula here, that will turn, turn out to be your inverse function. Okay, So what we're going to do is we're going to take away 2 from both sides. So we have x subtract 2 is equal to the natural logarithm of 3y take away 2. Then we're going to take exponentials of both sides. So we'd have e to the power of x subtract 2 is going to be equal to 3y take away 2. And we're going to make y the subject. So we're clearly going to add 2 to both sides and divide by 3. So x, e to the x subtract 2, add 2, all divided by 3. Now that is your inverse function, but it's very important you state your inverse function. Your inverse function f to the negative uh, 1 of x, like that, is therefore e to the power of x, subtract 2, add 2, all divided by 3. And that's your inverse function. Don't just leave it in that form. You must state it like that uh, at the end. And that's your answer. It's worth just thinking about what is the domain, what x values you're allowed to put in. Looking at this, there's no x values that would cause you trouble with this function. And the range of the original function, this is a logarithm function, and the range of that is all real numbers. So the domain of the inverse is going to be all real numbers. So you could just write x a member of the real as well, but it's not needed for a mark in this question.